What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Uh, just wanted to give a quick video on how to troubleshoot World of Warcraft uh, and pretty much any game overheating your computer or laptop and how to troubleshoot that. So um, we're going to go over two different ways that you can combat this, one in-game and one out-of-game on how to make um, your PC have a little bit of a better time running the games that you play. Um, and if you're on a laptop, maybe save some battery as well. Uh, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Rob Leslie, Ms. Kick 2 s and Todd M. Thank you so much for becoming mem member su channel supporters. Members on my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys, even if I can't speak cor correctly. Um, so to get started, um, it's, it's important to know what's happening to your PC to make it overheat. So uh, basically, the more times your GPU has to render um, onto the screen, the more it has to work and the hotter it gets. So let's just see how many frames a second I'm running now. I'm at 76 frames a second. And if I open up my Radeon software, I can see that I'm about 100 degrees, 99 degrees Celsius. Uh, this card is scaled to run at 110 degrees Celsius, believe it or not, but we're at 100 degrees. So let's see what happens. Let me move this out of the way. If we go into our settings and we just make unlimited FPS. So now we have... 82, 83. I'm actually recording right now, so that's why it's a little lower than normal. I'm usually at 140 something, but recording HD on the screen kind of lowers that. But if we go over here, we can see that we are at um, 100 degrees, 101 degrees Celsius. We're, we're pushing it to the max, right? Now, what happens if we're on a 60 um, hertz screen? Well, we can only get 60 frames a second. So um, we can scale down to 60 frames a second and hit apply since you only have a 60 hertz screen potentially and we'll start to see the temperature go down now it's not going down a ton because again i am recording my screen at the same time um, but this is a way to lower it we can see uh, more significantly like if i were to change this to 30 frames a second We can see that now we're dropping to like 85 degrees Celsius, right? 83, and it just continues dropping. So the more frames that your PC has to render, the hotter your PC is going to get. So I can change mine to like 70, maybe 80. That's good. And you can also, of course, do this by um, going into your... Um, graphic settings and lowering them as well because if we go into our graphic settings and change this to a lower graphics quality like say at five and then change our max frames per second to 60 close enough we can see that we are at 75 degrees so we're still dropping in temperature and it's just running super cool uh so yeah frame rate and graphics quality is almost directly um tied into how hot your computer is going to get when you game so scaling it to the max that your screen can support is a pretty smart move i have a 144 hertz screen so in some games um i'm never going to hit that peak so i like warzone I might cap it at 110 frames per second just because that's a comfortable spot for my CPU. But at Fortnite, I might be able to run at the full 144. Um, in CSGO, I might be getting 300 frames a second and really pushing my, my GPU to something that it doesn't need to be doing so I can drop that back down to 144 and get my um, refresh rate and screen uh, frames per second matched up and it'll work just fine without making your um, GPU hurt and overheat while you're doing it. So yeah, um, outside of that, um, cooling is also related to your fan speed. Um, if I disable this right here and apply changes, our temperature will actually uh, slowly rise because the default um, uh, fan speeds that are set up and the curves that are set up for temperatures are generally not very good. Um, so what I like to do is actually turn on custom um, fan control and just crank my fans up 
at anything above, say, like 60 degrees, maybe even like higher, maybe like 65 degrees. And then we're going to see our fan speed get faster and faster and faster as our heat goes up, bringing that heat back down and keeping junction temperature somewhere safe. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, just make sure you don't push your, your GPU too hard in the graphic settings and um, cap the frames per second as something that makes sense for your system. Um, especially if you're on a laptop, doing this will, will severely increase your battery life um, if you're not running it at full potential all the time. Uh, and it's also going to help in your gameplay because if you're running at 120 frames per second, but your, C your GPU and system is skipping because it's so hot, you're not going to do any better than you would be at 80 frames per second when it's running super smoothly, right? So let me know if this tip helped. And I'm um, sorry it wasn't formatted in a super nice way. I just wanted to kind of jump on and, and help you guys out with that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.